Trim tools in the multicam feature. Using the trim tool. In this video, we're going to look at using the trim tool to make an adjustment to an edit in the timeline. Now let's have a look at these two clips right here. So in the first clip, we see a gentleman walking here on the street. Okay, in the second clip, we see another guy walking in towards the square. So what I want to do for this edit is have it cut right when this guy is just leaving frame and right when this guy is entering. Now, there's a couple ways you can go about doing that. One way, you could take the clip here, the first one, move it down a bit, and you could drag it out to the point where he's just leaving there. Take the next clip, drag it back to right where he's just about to enter there. Put them back together. So we have our edit there, and it works, but it was kind of a roundabout way to do so. Using the trim tool is a much more efficient way to get the same result. So I'm going to undo the edit I did here. And now we'll open the trim tool. So first, you need to highlight the edit point here, like so, thread highlight. Go to the sequence menu and choose trim edit or use the keyboard shortcut, shift T. So let's do that, shift T. And it opens a trim monitor. Now we have our clips here. First clip, the second clip, and then our trim tools. And you'll notice here, I have a blue bar on the bottom of the first clip. So that means everything I do is only affecting this clip. So if I say, take a frame back or trim backward, look in the timeline. I'm actually trimming off the end of this clip. Okay, now I can put that back by adding frames. But when I get here, the message here, trim blocked on video one. I can't push anymore because the clip is here. Similarly, if I click on the second clip, I can do the same thing. I can go ahead a few frames by trimming off the head, like so. Okay, and say I put it back. This time I'm going to go back five frames, five more, and then now it's blocked this way. So for our purpose, we want to be working on both clips at the same time. So what you need to do is take your mouse, click in the middle, and now both clips are affected by the trim tool. So now my mouse has turned into a rolling edit, and we'll explain that tool a little bit more in another video. But I just want to show you now, if you take your mouse and move, we're changing the edit points here. Both clips are being affected. Notice in the timeline, it moved down. I changed the out point of this clip, stretching it. It pushed it down the timeline, which in turn changed the in point of this clip. I can bring it back, say here. Now remember, we want to adjust our edit, so this gentleman is leaving frame at the same time that the guy in the blue shirt is entering. So instead of using the rolling edit feature, you take your mouse over to this clip. Notice how it turns to a yellow arrow. Now, if I click and drag, watch. Only this clip's being affected. Okay. So I do that right here. Okay. Now, as you're working on your trim edit, you can hit spacebar and view anytime what you've done. Okay. So we got that sorted out, but our endpoint here is not quite right. So if I come here, I can roll him back. Like so. There. And then back to this guy. Notice I'm adding a frame to him. Back here. Take a frame away. All right. Let's try that. So, I think we have our edit. Let's try that again. Watch. Very nice. Now you'll notice down here, our result. I've added 55 frames to this shot. I've taken away 114 frames on this shot, either by using the mouse or by using the arrow key here. Either by using the mouse or the trim commands in the trim monitor. So I just uh, want to put that back to where I had it. 
minus 114 there. Try that again. Good. I think that's great. Now, now one other thing I want to show you in the trim monitor is this button here, apply default transition. Now, I don't think it applies to my edit here. I don't think it would work quite as well. But if you're in a situation where you want to apply the default transition, which is normally the cross dissolve, you would simply click here and you would have it. But we like it better as a cut, so I'm going to undo that. Again. Good. So now, to simply exit the trim monitor, just click anywhere in the timeline, and you're out. And here we go. Very cool. That's working good. And that's a look at the trim monitor, how to get a nice finely tuned edit by using the trim tool.